Good evening, Neonate. Isaac Abrams. I've been expecting you. Seems the wooden soldiers of the Camarilla shuffle in a little too often these nights. That baby-faced two-bit Prince LaCroix got something to say to me? Not so fast. Before you go, there is the matter of tribute. Call me old-fashioned, but this is my barony, and as is tradition, a token of respect must be paid. What I want is a simple exchange. Last week I paid for a certain item, a movie, and this evening I got an email saying that the seller is ready to deliver it. Unfortunately, he's become a bit paranoid all of a sudden. Won't meet me in person, won't drop it off, won't even answer his phone. Says he'll send the location of the pickup to a computer in the nearby internet cafe tonight. You see where I'm going with this? Oh my gosh, is that you? Everyone was worried sick about you. When you didn't show up and, and didn't call and nobody knew anything about what happened to you, we thought you were dead. Are you okay? You know what, never mind. We have to help you. Is it drugs? Something like that? Look, let me make a call. We'll get you some help. Nobody's judging you. They'll be happy to know you're alive. It's me, Samantha. Don't you... Did you suffer amnesia? Is that it? Let me make a call. We'll get everybody together. We can talk. Maybe you'll remember something. The important thing is that they know that you're alive. I don't think you know what you're saying. We're gonna help you. You'll see. Everybody just wants to see you safe and back to your old self. Wait here. I I'm gonna make a call. It's gonna be okay. What do you want? Yeah, yeah? I mean, what? Who the hell is Isaac? I don't know anyone named Isaac. Get lost, bitch! Sorry. It's just that... I mean, something is... I just want out of this whole thing. I don't want anything to do with that damn tape. Oh, you have no idea. It's disgusting. That girl. The things that are happening to her. It just ain't right, man. It just ain't right. No. Something's wrong. Something's after me. I swear to God, something's after me. Oh, shit. Did you see that? I'm getting the fuck out of here. What the? Oh, Christ! <gasps> <laughs> Hmm. Did he at least make a good excuse? Ginger Swan. Swan. Hmm. Not an animal. A name. Brings back a lot of memories. Seventy years ago, wasn't a man in this city that wouldn't have given up his family, career, or anything else for one night with her. That depends. You believe in an afterlife? Ginger Swan's been dead since the fifties. Twenty years after, there were still grown men weeping at her grave. I don't know how she's relevant, but I have faith you will figure it out.
Well there, sugar puss. Might want to think about knocking next time I damn near blew your head off. Thought you might be a zombie. Name's Romero. I'm the caretaker here. Well, that is, I don't exactly keep people from getting in. Although that is part of my job. No. You see, I'm here to make sure nothing gets out. Shoot them, blow them away, frag them. Whatever the situation calls for. Sometimes I throw in chopping and dicing just to mix it up. By the way, hey, you wouldn't be interested in watching the place while I go handle some business, would you? I'm not supposed to leave or it might end up in a zombie holocaust or something. Like one time these goths snuck in. Ooh, wasn't pretty. Uh, you know, I know you're technically dead and all, but... God damn, you are one striking looking piece of ass. Where were you when you were still breathing, huh? I don't suppose you'd still be interested in a little, uh... Business, right. I was thinking I'd head up to the strip and look for a dance partner for the old naughty tango. But, uh, you're kind of giving me the hot, uh, want to save me a trip? Really? I mean, really. Just don't bite it, all right? What? I mean my neck. Look what just walked in. I can't imagine you'd get much of a rise out of Vesuvius, being what you are. Maybe I'll have more luck with you. Isn't this better? You and me alone, for just a little while. Away from Jihad and the nonsense, and the dangers. Just the two of us. Hmm. I don't want to spoil the moment, but there's a reason I needed to speak to you alone. Oh, I forget sometimes the two-faced nature of our blood. It's sad, really, the way we get conditioned so quickly, isn't it? The reason I asked you up here is because I and the rest of the Hollywood kindred have been under surveillance lately by hunters. I didn't want you to say anything that might draw attention. Maybe not. I'm Velvet. Velour. Call me Velvet. It's been months since I've seen anyone new in here. I was starting to take it personally. And who should finally walk in but a real celebrity? I've heard a lot about you. So, uh, wouldn't you like to know about me? I'm like a book. All you have to do is run your finger down my spine and crack me open to see what I'm about. Hunters. Yes. They've been staking out Hollywood for several weeks. They've been in Ash's club, mine, a few others. I think they're whittling down their list of suspects. I'm a bit nervous. Until recently, I had one right under my nose. For a few weeks, one of them was working here at Vesuvius, keeping an eye on the clientele. I found a weapon in her locker and I fired her. She's still in Hollywood watching my club. And me. Would you? I think it might be a little much to ask. You'd really be willing to do this for me? I won't lie. It's gonna be dangerous. But if you got rid of her, I'd be grateful. Very, very grateful. I want you to understand. I don't want any innocents killed on my account. So if there are other dancers or patrons around, you'll have to lure them away from her. Do it as quietly as you can. No witnesses, please. And be careful using disciplines around the hunter. Uh, yeah, chastity. She works downstairs in the booth. But if you're looking for someone to, uh, trim your hedge, <laughs> I got better girls than her. 
She ain't exactly adventuresome. Know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what are you looking for, honey? Okay, 200 bucks for 10 minutes. Anything you want, you just gotta make it quick, all right? Well, here we are. You got something specific in mind? Because the clock's ticking, honey. All right. It's your dollar. Couldn't stay away, could you? Mm hmm. Hmm. If we'd never taken the paths we did in life, could we have grown fond of each other? A shame you had to take her life. But you've saved mine, and I won't forget that. Yes, but through this ordeal I've gained an enticing new ally. And I'm beginning to think it was fate. Mmm, you're just saying what I want to hear. Don't stop. David Hatter's an aspiring screenwriter and hotel manager. He comes in more often than he would admit. Several years now. Poor dear just can't get a break. I overheard him talking about his new screenplay with one of my girls. It was about secret societies and creatures that found themselves dealing with inner beasts and persecution by elder monsters. Sound reminiscent of something to you? No. It's about kindred. The details of his story were too insightful to be coincidental. I think someone's working with David. A kindred who doesn't realize the consequences of their actions. Do you know what the penalty for revealing ourselves to Kain is? Death. I'm afraid poor David's big break. The screenplay he's worked so hard on must be destroyed, and his less-than-silent partner must be... executed. I know David too well. I'm very fond of David, and I'm too close to do what needs to be done. No! I don't think Hatter knows his collaborator is kindred. You'll have to take David's screenplay, and somehow you'll have to coax the name of his source out of him. Once you've found out who, kill the traitor. But do not touch David. They should, like, combine pizza and nachos together and call them Piznachios? Man, I could go for some Piznachios right now. Does a writer write, or does he just, like, ink the flotsam and jetsam floating in his subconscious into a 120-page piece of film genius? But, you, you know, most of my subconscious is filled with old horror films, so that, that's what I write mostly, I guess. Me? I'm like... 
looking to redefine the vampire movie, okay? Like, tons of people make vampire flicks, like popular characters, but me, I'm gonna be doing the real deal. Like, not only is it gonna be scary, but it's gonna be like, it's gonna be believable. Well, in my story, it's not like about garlic and bats, okay? It's about vampire societies and stuff. You know, like, what would vampires be really all about? I mean, how do they blend into society without being discovered? A good writer always does in this town. Hey, hey, you, you in the business? Because, man, I got tons of ideas for movies. In fact, I should give you one of my completed screenplays. This one's still a work in progress. Of course! I, I hope you find it a stimulating read. Okay, okay, he's a guy, calls himself Julius. He lives under the pier. In fact, I'm supposed to meet him tonight. We talk about vampire film ideas all the time. He's a weird, weird guy, but really creative. You know, I, I love how his mind works. What, 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 what do, you, do you want? No, 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 no. Please, I, I, I don't, I don't, 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 don't know. I, I didn't, I didn't mean, mean, I didn't mean to. I, I don't, 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 don't understand what, what, what I am. I, I, I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> I, I'm so, so sorry. Please, please, I, I'll never do it again. No, 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 oh God! Please, find your heart! Please, find your heart! You could let me go? I promise, I would leave Los Angeles, I swear. Uh, I, I don't have m much. I, 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 just s some some money, a uh, hundred bucks or so. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you. Hello, kitten. Did you come back for me? Even if you didn't, just nod your head. I'm all gooey. I didn't think you'd be back so soon. Any particular reason for this unexpected visit? Although, it is pleasure. I mean, a pleasure to see you again. The tide goes out, the tide comes in, and then it waves goodbye again. It'll take me a few years to wake this city up. Oh, sweetheart. Desperately these nights, I'm just a lonely little girl on a rainy day. No any games we can play? Think harder and dirtier. Oh well, it's a little different, but entirely possible. Come sit next to me on the bed. I'll show you. Please, call me Vivi. Mm-hmm. Oh, I suppose I should just tear it up. But I just... I can't. I can't rip up the product of that man's soul. Here. Would you? Tear it up for me. Thanks. Are they... I mean, did you? It must have been difficult. But take some comfort in knowing if you hadn't, someone else would have had to. I do appreciate your help. A lot. 
Can't you tell? I simply adore you. You're so sweet to me. The way you protect me. What would I have done had you never come in here? Oh, why can't they all be like you? The world could be so, so beautiful. Here, take this. A reminder of the beautiful girl whose heart you stole. There we are. Now, what would you like me to do, hmm? I shouldn't tell you this, but dancing for girls always drives me absolutely wild. I didn't doubt you'd find this, and I apologize if I was overly imperious before. A reflex action. I get a lot of young blood in here for getting their place. I'll assist you as reasonably as I can with your task. But first... This tape. I'm in a hurry to find out what's behind all the hype, so get comfortable. I do have a feeling that whatever's here may be of use to both of us. Oh. 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 It's more disturbing than I was led to believe. You can understand my concern now, can't you? It just so happens that around the time this snuff film started circulating, the Nosferatu disappeared. I tried to elicit their help in tracking down the source, and for the first time in all these years, I was dismayed by their absence. Usually, I just put the word out I'm looking for them, and sooner or later, they appear. I assume it does. It's awfully coincidental otherwise. And those creatures. I don't know how many professional FX houses could pull those off. There's a problem, though, in that the film's incomplete. The first half is damaged. We need a complete copy. Yeah? What do you want to know? Those guys? Yeah. Yeah, I heard of them. Why do you want to know? A tape? You mean THE tape? You've got a copy of it? Have you seen it? Look, man, get the hell out of here, all right? I don't want any part of that scene. I hear people seeing that tape ain't been coming home for dinner. I don't deal in that kind of stuff anyway, so just take it somewhere else. Forget it, man. I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. Huh? What? Who are they? Seriously, get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. Look, all I know is that a guy calls on the payphone down the street every once in a while. He'll say something like, the moon is a terrible mistress, or some creepy shit like that. And then all you have to say is, who walks the night with demons of dread? The moon is a mysterious mistress. The Lucky Star Motel, room two, don't be long.
fuck is going on up there? Dead, everyone slaughtered up. Oh, God. Please, please, just, just get me out of here. Oh, no. Any luck? Then this is no doubt the work of a fiend. Hand me the tape. There might be something on it that will give us some insight into what its motives are. House in the tape. I know it. It's in the hills. King's Way, if I'm not mistaken. My guess is that the fiend that made this tape is using these creatures to hound the Nosferatu, which would explain their sudden absence. They're trapped. Well, it's unfortunate that the prince needs you to see the Nosferatu, because it looks like this fiend knows how to get at them, and I doubt he's going to draw a map for you. Looks like King's Way is your only way in, unfortunately. I can have a car drop you off when you're ready. If I don't hear from the Nosferatu within the next few nights, I'll tell LaCroix he's going to need a new leading lady and march a few of my own troops up there. is not so lifeless, your nerves not so deadened that you cannot express shock. Tell me, child, is my appearance that frightening, or is it my knowledge of you that is so unnerving? O oh, child of Cain, the sights in this haven pale in comparison to my ancestral estate. Comfort is a custom. And all of this artifice brings me closer to my home. Do not fear for my furniture, young one. So did the tape drive you to find me? From whence flows your longing, child? To gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. The sewers are clogged with my creations. I will kill or drive the Nosferatu from their pestilent nests. 
Without the sewer rats to guide them, the Camarilla will be blind to the Sabbat's designs. Now, Camarilla whelp, let me see you fight your nature in the face of those who have embraced their beast. Deny yourself Cain's gifts and be torn asunder by my minions.
<laughs> oh, you did not just try and run a trace on me. All right. Take that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I hope you backed up that server tonight. Boss is gonna be real pissed when his mom starts getting love letters from porn sites. <sighs> what? Oh, yeah, hold on a sec. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? What are you using for security down there at Trash 80? <laughs> Guys, it's called encryption. This is too easy. I'd let you off the hook, but stupidity always brings out the asshole in me. <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. Just one minute. No, 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 nothing to worry about. Just a harmless email. Not a self-replicating embedded virus or anything. <laughs> wow. You really opened it. I can't believe you just opened it. What kind of a freaking idiot just opens it? Well, oh yeah, sorry. The name's Mitnick. I'm in charge of computer systems, network security, that kind of thing. You're the new kid, right? LaCroix's girl. Surprised you actually made it down here. Me? Like I said, I'm I'm the resident tech head. Keep this place wired to the outside world. Gary wants me to keep it close on the street, and at the same time, I'm supposed to be upgrading the sh the net network. <laughs> Not nothing. Forget about it. Like I said, just some network stuff. Go ahead. Yeah, he knows why you're here. The Croys must be pissed. But I hope you're not here looking for some payback. LaCroix knows better than to mess with Gary, sheriff or no sheriff. His room is just down the hall. You'll probably find him there. Or maybe he'll find you. <laughs> By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about forty years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh. You might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. We are talking, but you aren't listening, boss. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? <laughs> I don't know, boss. You tell me, after all... I didn't crash your party. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. Because I like the sound of my own voice. It's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the Prince, nor Isaac, nor Nines have any domain down here. Tread carefully. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might get it. <laughs> Behind you, boss. Boo! What? You don't recognize me from the pictures? Gorgeous Gary Golden? Don't tell me you missed Pirate Town or Tap Hotel. Little before your time, eh, boss? Well, those days are long past. Nowadays, it's just Gary. Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than May West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information? Oh, my hero. 
Had it not been for that damn Shemisi, you'd still be searching under rocks for us. It was hardly a favor, but I know where your prince's prize is. There's very little that doesn't leak down into this place. Tell me, boss, you ever gone up against a Kuei Jin? The Kuei Jin are vampires, but not like kindred. Sometimes known as the vampires of the East. But they ain't kin, boss. They're just someone else that, if you ain't being careful, might give you the final death. Even for old Gary, there ain't much more to tell. You see, I sent an agent, Barabbas, to snoop around Chinatown, do a little hacking, make a few contacts. But he hasn't been calling lately, and it's breaking my heart. You up for a little trip to Chinatown? You're in no danger there. Me. <laughs> Best you don't mention my name there, boss. That's the going rate for my info right now. You get our chum back from Chinatown, I'll give you what you need. Of course. What kind of a monster do you take me for? <laughs> There is a method to my madness, boss. There's a payphone in Chinatown. I'll call you with the info once Barabbas is safe. Until then, you'll never know where I am. And thanks again for your help earlier. And remember what I told you about LaCroix. You're good, kid. He doesn't deserve you. There is something, but it involves a gargoyle. Hmm... I can see that's got your attention. It's taken up residence in my beloved Asian theater. It is closed now, but that's beside the point. I sent some people to evict it, and it sent them back with a few less limbs. I can't have that monster attacking kindred in my city. It's a walking block of stone with a taste for blood. I'd suggest whatever method doesn't result in you being eviscerated. In truth, I'd rather have it as an ally, but I doubt it's going to be chatty. Here's the key for the theater. I'll leave it up to you. you all abominations a curse upon the earth <laughs> Arthur what Arthur yet another lie he hopes to control me to enslave me just as my master before him first he sends his underlings to destroy me and now he wants to make peace no Curse him! Curse you all! <laughs> I thought you'd come back here with a stone foot lodged in your backside, but I'm glad to see you've proved otherwise. 
you've got a lot of promise. It's a shame you're still working full time for the wrong side. I'd like to hope so. Well, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> 